can connect UiPath and Orchestrator to run uh, processes from Orchestrator. First off, we will have the platform UiPath.com open. We are registered with a user, mine is Anders Jensen, but yours is of course something else. This is the window you have open. Um, it actually looked like this here, and then you'll just click on uh, the services here to uh, come to the um, dashboard here. Then we'll open UiPath Robot. We'll need that one too. I'll drag it in from over here when it is open. Then um, here, and now we are ready to go. First off, we'll uh, find the machines down here. We'll click plus and we'll choose machine template. We could call that Anders. On this machine, I'll just do this. The description, well, it's not mandatory. I won't uh, make any description here. Then we will um, click more actions, edit, and then the machine key here, we'll click copy. We'll use that later, cancel. Then we will click the robots. We'll create a new floating robot here. Uh, we could call that Anders Robot again, really originally, but hey, Anders Robot. Uh, studio is fine. Then um, the domain username, we'll find that by going into the windows. We'll uh, search for CMD, command prompt, open it, I'll drag this down, type in who am I, like this, copy this one. Paste it in here, and the password is your Windows password. So whatever that is, mine is like this. Then we will create. Now we created the robot. Then we will uh, click the environment here. I'll just delete this one. We'll create a new one. We could call that again on this environment to stay in our here. We will choose the robot we just created and click update. Then we will uh, close this down. Then we will go to the UiPath robot because uh, right now it's offline. We will click the orchestrator settings. The orchestrator machine key that was the one we copied before. So oh, hold on. We'll go to uh, machines. We will. Click edit, we will copy this. I'm not sure. No, yeah, it was our the other thing we copied. So this one um, was the machine key. Then the uh, orchestrator URL is um, is the first part of this web address where we're here at their, um, the browser. So that will be from here to there. We'll copy that in, it's already there, but hey. And then we'll click connect close and now you can see it's connected and licensed and no process available so we need to um, upload a project so first of all we'll go to UiPath studio we'll make a like a simple process we'll just uh, make a message box saying hello virus like this save it and click publish um, Yep, 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 yep. This one is called blank process, but hey, you can call it whatever your project, whatever you want. We click publish. Then we will have a project published successfully. Version 1.0.3. I made it two ones before this video, but yours will, in the first version, will will say 1.0.0 and then, yeah, onwards. So now it's published. We all um, close this one down. Then we will um, go into processes here. We will make a new process. So and now we can select it here. So we will select the blank process. We will select the package version. Everything is okay. Then we'll click create. Then we could either um, start it uh, from here. We click jobs. And then we could uh, mark the blank process. Then we'll start it. Select the process. We'll uh, select uh, here. 
and the robot will choose that one. We will click start, the command is sent, and in a moment you will see the message box popping up here. Hello viewers. We could also just have uh, started it from the UiPath robot over here. Um, click here. And that's it. So that was a quick guide how you uh, connect Orchestrator and UiPath Studio. Have a good day. Bye-bye.